Okay, you guys, it's January 29th, 2022, and we're getting a couple snowflakes right now. No joke, I hope you guys can tell. It's literally minute, but it says it's 40 degrees outside and we're getting a couple snowflakes coming down. This is awesome. And once again, it's kind of a bit of a surprise. Um, yesterday, we were notified a little bit from one organization, and it's Ben's Weather up here, that said that there's a chance for a little bit of rain or maybe, but look, as soon as I hit record, the the little snowflakes are coming down now. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. I really hope you guys can see. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and see if it'll, if, there we go. Now you guys can see it better. So cool. I really can't believe it. I did not expect any of this once again. As I said, Ben's weather was the only one that said there's any chance for anything today and it was a very small minute chance but what do you know once again it's not much nothing special but it is snow and that's crazy it's 40 degrees outside i'm loving it snow flurries as light as it gets so we're just gonna go for a little drive right now i gotta stop and get some foodie food food we're gonna go to El Pollo Choco and get a bunch of BRC burritos. Yeah. Oh, and I'm driving this car today because my sway bar in my car snapped in half or, or, or completely broke something again, the third time. So kind of frustrated about that. And then now they're gonna put sway bar extensions on the car, which I thought um, well, when I did some some of my own research, because I was wondering why this keeps on happening, it said that when you lift your car, most of the time they put on sway bar extensions. And so, once again, this is the third time, and uh, I'm just uh, I, I I suggested that, and I also suggested uh, to replace the sway bars with like some really strong steel, something else, and put the extensions on also because I don't want this to happen. Um, it's, it's just a pain in the butt, but thankfully my friend who owns the shop, he lets me borrow his vehicle whenever stuff like this happens. Um, so hopefully I won't be borrowing his car anymore because I'm sure he needs it. They have other vehicles, but at the same time, I just, uh, yeah, it's just kind of frustrating because my car is a 2019 and to have all these issues already is just, just a nightmare. All right, so here we go. El Pollo Choco. And once we get done with El Pollo Loco, or if in the line it starts snowing even harder, then I'll turn it back on. Hang on, hang on. Okay, you guys, it's it's still very light snow, but um, if I can zoom in on something so we can get a, a better perspective. Uh, all right, when I hit record, it freaking stopped, of course. Well, anyway, this is just awesome, guys. I love it when we get weather like this because we weren't really expecting it. As I said, one weather forecaster said that this was a possibility today, but all the apps that I use typically, there was nothing. I mean, nothing. And so this is this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'll re start recording shortly once I leave El Pollo Loco. All right, we just left El Pollo Loco, and what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, kind of drive closer to the mountain to catch some more of these snowflakes because it's really not not going to be much like once again kind of a surprise um usually we get notified like seven to ten days out that there's a possibility for something but the past couple times it's been like one day notice that there's a, a, a possibility and most of the uh, the weather channels and whatnot do not align properly with each other it's amazing because they only use two uh main sources like the European model and the American model, I believe it is. And so I don't know how they can constantly get it so wrong. Okay. Look at those cute little doggies. Hey, doggies. So there's another little snowflake right there. Temperature dropped down from 40 to 39. Yeah, we're gonna go down Summit Boulevard to get closer to the mountain where we should be able to get a little bit 
more of the snow flurries if they are continuing. I know sometimes these videos are annoying, you guys. I know. But you know what I do. Anytime we get any change in the weather like this, I'm always out here. I'm always out here. My food can wait. My food can wait, yo. Man, Snow Summit is so packed. Holy moly. We're gonna go up here to Switzerland since it's the furthest street right up against the mountain. Or the closest street to the mountain. for keeping my patience when it's packed up here my patients get pretty tested every now and again but that's okay it's more fun when this place is packed like this it really is but everyone's in a hurry me included a hurry to go nowhere <laughs> but man so beautiful guys look at that mountain look at how unbelievably beautiful it is I am so damn lucky. So we're gonna turn left here. And there's Snow Summit, and there it goes. So hopefully we got some snow on this road. We're gonna take this all the way into Moon Ridge. And yeah, I'm just so bummed that I don't have my car right now. It makes me very sad. So once again, you guys, you guys know that uh, Snow Summit is just right over here to the right. At least the mountain. So we are on the closest road up against the mountain, which is the best opportunity we would get for any snow. Seriously, I was just uh, at home, opened up all my blinds just so I wouldn't miss anything. And since I'm constantly in and out of my house, I figured, you know, I'm not gonna miss anything anyway, but it was such a small amount that's supposed to happen, or not supposed to, but could possibly happen that I'm very fortunate that I was able to, to capture something. I know it's super annoying, you guys, because there's not much. I don't wanna feel like I'm wasting your guys' time. But this is what an obsessive compulsive attitude does for you. Hey, doggies. Yeah, this road is already getting tore up from the floor up. It's too bad that all these big areas that when there's snow you could go sledding and just go build snowmen and just go for nice little walks that they're all blocked off like that. There aren't many spots where it's not private property up here which is, which is really kind of sucky. You know, you can either go to your house up here or your hotel and then go to the ski resorts and go to the sledding spots, uh, the paid sledding spots. Other than that, it's like I've, I've noticed over the years more and more no trespassing signs going up in places that I used to find for you guys to go sledding and stuff. So it's really quite a bummer. Um, anyway, we're here on Elm Street. There's an Elm Street in every town. And it's quite unfortunate, guys. I'm not getting, oh, there's a snowflake right there. These are the little tiniest snowflakes. They're freaking adorable. Oh, they're so cute. For this little, little guy. I hope it snows for you, little one and your big brother, it looks like. All right. So I'm sorry, it's kind of a, once again, a teaser video, guys, because we're not getting much in the way of a, you know what, we're gonna go right, forget it. We're gonna go right, we're gonna go into the Moon Ridge area. Because the closer we get, as I said, to the, to the mountain, the better opportunity we'll have. So that's what we're gonna do. We're actually going to drive up to, to Bear Mountain right now. And 
and uh, keep our fingers crossed that we got something. But look, guys, there's just no snow in town. This is just terrible. It's freaking almost February, and there's nothing around here. But that view right there, guys, oh, man, that fixes everything. <laughs> it's so beautiful seeing those snow-capped mountains straight ahead. Oh, man. And it makes me happy. And by the way, Bear Mountain, you guys, we kind of passed the sign. We took some back streets to pass this, uh, and we passed the sign. It said Bear Mountain was sold out today. And you can tell, look at all these cars. This is just one of the many parking lots for Bear Mountain. This is the golf course parking lot, or one of the golf course parking lots for the driving range. And I'd like to stay in one of these houses right here, you guys, right on the golf course. What would be pretty cool is as, as this channel grows on its own without me, um, you know, asking people to subscribe and stuff like that. Well, as it grows, I'm, I'm hoping some, some people might want me to do some like videos for their houses up here in these beautiful areas like this. Um, just so I can, you know, not get a, not get a discount, but you know, I would make videos for them and all, all that good stuff. Um, I don't know how much the videos actually help, but, uh, yeah, it would be super cool to be able to have some, some sort of a, some sort of a, a relationship like that. Because it gets pretty monotonous just hanging out at my place every day. Yeah, as I said, I get to leave often because I'm, I'm working every day of the week, but wow, look at that. There's the ba -ba bear. There's the half pipe right there. I don't know if you guys can see. But that's the half pipe right there. That is super cool. Gosh, man, I love it. I love it. I so miss working here. I tell you guys that every time we drive by, but I miss working here tremendously. It was a lot of fun. The staff was super cool, at least the ones that wouldn't call in sick all the time. But yeah, look at that. This is beautiful. And when I quit here, or not quit, when the season ended, they painted all these buildings. I think these buildings were like kind of a barn looking color. So now they're actually more attractive. There's another little snowflake. We're not getting much, but we did get something, you guys. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but I'll tell you what, most people, if they did what I do, and I don't think anybody does what I do, really, if they did, I, I guarantee you, it would be hard for them to find anything or to be able to keep up on things the way that I do. I'm so obsessive about it, you guys. I'm so obsessive about it. Anyway, I'm looking forward to golf season coming back so we can be out here. Oh, look, see, we're sledding on the golf course. I wonder how Mike feels about that. I'm sure it's not a big deal. I mean, there's plenty of snow out there, and, you know, I suggest if you guys can, go have fun. But I think there's no trespassing signs everywhere there, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. As I said, it's really difficult up here because there aren't that many spaces that are just open and you know i want you guys to be able to enjoy yourselves have a good time not constantly pull up to a spot that looks good and you and then you see a sign that says stay out <laughs> you know i wish there was a little bit more that we did for for more kind of just open areas where you guys can go have some fun and not have to spend any money oh yeah we're on Moon Ridge. Yeah, once we pass the golf course right here, we're probably gonna shut this down. But at least we got to record a little bit of snow. If it picks up a little bit later, I will come back out, I promise. Now it's extending the opportunity for snow until about five or six o'clock. Saturday today. 
this is beautiful for me. All these clouds and storminess, even though it's not much storminess. It's very nice for me. It makes me happy. As you guys clearly are aware of. I mean, it does look like some snow, but... through here earlier looking for some snow when it said it was supposed to be snowing a little bit and I didn't find any and the traffic guy right here he like waved one car in our lane up and then stopped everyone and then let the other lane go I'm not giving anybody any any have or I'm not giving anyone any help just uh just we need equal opportunity in stopping and going guys so I'm gonna shut off the video so I'm not wasting too much of your time but at least as I said at least we got a couple snowflakes so that's better than nothing I mean maybe not maybe nothing is better than a couple of these little uh, teasers all right guys take care uh, January 29, 2022, Saturday in Big Bear Lake, California, and it's about, I don't know, 3.30 or something like that. You guys take care and have a good rest of your day. Hopefully, I'll be back out. Hopefully, it'll, we'll be getting a little more snow, all right, or flurries, whatever you want to call it. Take care, guys.